and uh, Andrea is going to talk about that. I'm going to talk instead about uh, OpenStreetMap uh, project, uh, which is instead uh, by the OpenStreetMap Foundation. And uh, we're doing some nice things together right now here in Italy in, uh, at the uh, Wikimedia, Wikimedia Italia chapter together with uh, all of the uh, Wikimedia projects and uh, OSM. If Andrea is ready, I'm going to hand over the mic. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is uh, Andrea Zanni. My nickname is Aubrey. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I, I am the former president of Wikimedia Italy, and I'm a long-time editor of Wikisource. Uh, which is the project which I will uh, talk about uh, in the next few minutes. Um, here, uh, I, I started with the, um, a, a quote from, uh, from uh, a, a, a very famous book. If you are Italian, you know I Promessi Sposi, which is actually settled here in this, in the, on, on Lake Como. And uh, there is a, the very famous incipit of uh, I Promessi Sposi starts with a description of uh, Lake Como. Uh, actually, if you go up in, 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 the, in, the, in the mountain, you, you see this part of the lake that, that this description is talking about. And um, uh, we have this incipit, this quote, uh, directly on the first page in, of, uh, of the Wikipedia article. And uh, if you look, uh, there is a link, and uh, the link of the quote uh, directly gives you, you know, if you go on Wikipedia, it, it gives you the um, it gives you the exact quote on Wikisource inside the first chapter. So uh, we have on Wikisource, we have the possibility to take quotes and go directly within the context, within the page. What is Wikisource? Wikisource is simply a digital library. As Wikipedia is an encyclopedia, so it, it tries to stretch the metaphor of an encyclopedia, Wikisource is a digital library, but it's wiki. So you maybe know Project Gutenberg, but uh, um, which is a digital library, Wikisource is like Project Gutenberg, but it's wiki. So like every user can work on, on, on a book, on a text uh, as he wants. Um, we mainly transcribe and proofread books. We are very different communities. We are divided per language. So there is the wiki source in Italian language, the wiki source in English language, the wiki source in French, and we host public domain text. Uh, of course, it's possible to upload uh, CC licensed books, for example, as in CC by, by or CC by SA, but uh, uh, most of our work is directly done uh, within uh, all books. Um, and Wikisource is also what uh, I like to call a hyper library. Uh, in, because uh, as Wikipedia, um, as Wikipedia is full of links, so it's full of blue and red links that that connects to other pages to Wikipedia. Uh, in Wikisource, you can click on authors and, and and books, so you can actually show that books and authors are connected to each other. We'll see this uh, later. And Wikisource is mainly backed by scans, like Wikisource from 2007, uh, the community uh, the community of volunteers developed a, um, a specific extension, a MediaWiki extension to, for working on books. So uh, we actually take books from the, the digitized books from Google Books or Internet Archive, we upload them on Commons, and then we show the page transcribed with the image, like the, the scan of the page. So like the users always can see if the, 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 the text is reliable, if the text is the same of, 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 the, of the scan. Um, so this actually um, 
from a point of view of usability, this makes things a bit more tricky for Wikisource users because we have one interface for reading and one other interface for editing uh, the, the pages. Um, and we have um, a quite simple uh, process for assessing the quality of a page. So pages can be mainly not proofread, so they need work, or they, they can be proofread, so they have been formatted and, and, and read at least one time, and then they are validated. Validated is the last, the green, the green page status, that is when uh, one page has been proofread by at least two different users. So, I mean, uh, you, can, you can see the, uh, this is one index page, uh, of course, of Promises Posit. One of the main, um, there are several editions. This is one of the most important editions of Promises Posit. And each of these is one page, and each of this page has been validated. So it's the 100% quality. Um, this is like how you show a page side by side, and this is how you see the edit, the edit box on the page. You can see that you have uh, on, uh, on, uh, on your right, you have the scan, and on the left, you have, uh, uh, this is the, the, the proofread extension I was talking about, you have the edit box, and you put all the formatting inside in Wikitext, and you, we have thousands of templates to render the layout of, uh, of, uh, of the page. And uh, you have uh, templates for, for example, the header uh, and, and the footer. Um, and which, what, what is nice is that uh, every wiki source has its kind of layout, uh, and you can see the same book in, in different languages and in different translation. I will try to show you. Okay, so, um, so for example, this is another Italian book. You can see that this book uh, it has different, uh, it, like this, page, this book has not been finished. You have all these kind of pages, and uh, uh, these are uh, at 75%. So the, the, the text has been proofread, but is not validated. But the green ones, they are, they are validated. So, I mean, you can see how it's rendered. But uh, you can actually go and see the text uh, directly. Uh, this is the, the reading interface I was talking about. You have the whole, the whole books. So you have one side, like in, one, in, in the editing interface, you have the books divided by page as it was on paper, but on the main namespace, the namespace zero, you have uh, the whole chapter. So it's, uh, uh, it's divided by, by, I mean, the internal logic of, uh, of the book. And the funny thing is that this is not copied. Like if you click on edit uh, the Wikisource uh, page, you see that there is uh, there is, uh, there, is no, there is no text. You have, you have uh, uh, just a tag, which is called page index. So all the text is transcluded. This piece of code just says, please give me all the pages from 11 to 40. So every kind of, every kind of uh, modification of edit that has been done on the index page, on, uh, on, the, on the scanned page, then it's rendered here. And this is really nice because uh, the moment that you want, uh, that you see an error, you go to the page, you click on it, and then it's rendered all over the place. And uh, the, the last thing is that we always have the possibility of uh, creating, generating an EPUB, which is done, uh, it's, it's going in on background, uh, you click on the header, you generate a EPUB on the fly. So you always have the most uh, reliable version of the book. You do not have the EPUB or the PDF uh, in another place. You have it just there because it's derived on the fly. Um, then, uh, let me see. 
sorry. Um, this is uh, another another uh, book. This is uh, um, a literature critic uh, critic of literature book, and um, the the. One of the things that I was telling you before is that uh, uh, we, especially on, on Italian Wikisource, but there are, uh, all the, this happens also on the English Wikisource, the French Wikisource, it just depends on the community. We like to uh, tag the uh, authors and the books that are cited within the books. So in this you see a lot of, uh, of uh, uh, blue links, for example, uh, this book, uh, is a citation of a very famous poem. And so you click on it and you have two different version of uh, this, this poem. Or uh, you can uh, link, uh, you can click on uh, other authors. These are all uh, uh, 13th centuries uh, uh, poets. And, and you actually, so you, you create a sort of citation network uh, of, uh, of the single book. And uh, the best thing is that uh, these are not simple Wikilinks. These are not uh, square brackets Wikilinks as we do on Wikipedia, but these are templates. So we automatically create categories. So for example, every time we see Dante Alighieri or William Shakespeare cited in one book, we put the template and these incrementally go and populate the category of all the texts in which William Shakespeare or Dante Alighieri is cited. In this case, for example, this is the page of Dante Alighieri, and in this you can see we have all, uh, uh, um, like 700 different books that cites Dante Alighieri. So I mean, this is really cool because uh, the community actually uh, is building a corpus of citation between books uh, which was not there before and uh, nobody does that as nobody had uh, a, a hyperlinked encyclopedia nobody has a hyperlinked digital library now i will leave the floor to simone for open street map <laughs> Let me close. Do you need do you need the pages? Okay. And going back to the to the slides. No, no, it's fine. No, no, fast. Yeah, I'm going to little bit going to the details about the this project the open stream project was born uh, in 2004 uh, I'm sure some of you already know the project it is it has been coming quite nicely together with uh, all of the aims which are close to what uh, the Wikimedia Foundation wants to accomplish as their as the missions and uh, as well, OSM has, the, has a sim very similar mission, which is to map everything which is available on planet Earth and do that by allowing every single person in the world to be able to uh, do their own uh, part in uh, actually making a one-to-one uh, -one representation of the planet without having any constraint from outside uh, powers and be able to uh, describe the world the way we see it. Uh, so first of all, the uh, Open Cinema project is more like a community. Actually, there are, they are, uh, we are more than one community uh, across, the, across the world and uh, across the fact that uh, several different people contribute in a very different way. Uh, people contribute uh, data in uh, a variety of ways, more than what's uh, usually done through Wikipedia, which is uh, usually bound to uh, contributing to, uh, to the project by uh, making changes to the, to the web pages. Uh, OSM allows you to apply changes using a very big variety of different medium from uh, um, specialized uh, mobile application to websites uh, to automated edits uh, 
and uh, applying uh, uh, statistical information and doing automated uh, analysis of the data and then uh, suggesting changes to people which l are lacking uh, the, let's say, fantasy to, to do some changes, uh, which is something completely different from uh, what happens currently in, as, part of the, as part of Wikipedia and the other uh, Wikimedia projects. The project is uh, squarely made uh, toward providing geographical data, as I mentioned, and it makes a heavy use of uh, wiki technologies. We use a uh, instance of uh, MediaWiki to organize our uh, discussions and our tagging scheme, and uh, everything that happens as part of the community-led uh, decision happens mainly on our own uh, um, instance of MediaWiki, which lies on uh, wiki.osm.org. The project is as well a producer of data. We, we, we deliver those data under a free and open source license, which is a, called uh, ODBL, Open Database uh, License, which allows uh, reuse of uh, our own data. Uh, those data come from a, a very big variety of sources. Those data come from um, people actually going around and uh, taking uh, GPS traces for, uh, for what they see around. Those data come from uh, uh, government-made data, which we do import with, uh, with, some, uh, with a very big caution. Uh, you, on, only if those data are available under a free license. And as well, they come from uh, inferences. We use, uh, for example, we use uh, uh, images that we find on commons to infer data from, uh, from those images. We, uh, we use uh, uh, images that we found on the web that allow us to understand where, um, where, if we know where a picture has been taken, we can guess what's in the picture and we can add the details to the picture itself. Details for uh, OpenStreetMap can, can vary from uh, a uh, soccer field or uh, a trash bin or uh, the existence of uh, an airport in that area. Everything that has a physical location uh, on planet Earth can be uh, displayed on the map. Uh, so one of the aim as well is to produce data and there are several initiatives to uh, bring those data out in a, in a very efficient way which can be reproduced and can be used by other subjects. One of the, uh, one of the, uh, one of the project that make, uh, takes advantage of uh, uh, OpenStreetMap is uh, Wikimedia itself, uh, the, uh, the maps that are found on, uh, on, um, on the pages that you see on, um, on, uh, on Wikipedia come from a rendering of the OpenStreetMap uh, website. There's a picture of me and uh, Martin van Exel here because uh, as part of my initiative, uh, as part of uh, as being formerly the vice president of uh, Wikimedia Italia, now the treasurer, um, we wanted to, to try to get uh, the two projects uh, close together. And uh, as part of Wikimedia Italia, we applied to become the local chapter, local rep representative for Italy of the um, OpenStreetMap Foundation. Uh, and we, are the f we were the first uh, uh, non-specific uh, uh, organization, so non, non devoted solely to OpenStreetMap to be recognized as local chapter for, uh, for a country. And uh, as part of our initiative, we are doing uh, concurrently, uh, right now we are doing uh, outreach uh, together, uh, both for OpenStreetMap and for, uh, for all of the Wikimedia initiatives. And it has been proven quite, um, quite successful. As you see, uh, OpenStreetMap is not uh, foreign to, to, um, to Wikipedia. This is, a, this, this is the um, uh, geohack page uh, for the Italian Wikipedia, where you can see a, uh, the, this is the page that comes from when you click on the uh, coordinate box uh, on the top right corner for uh, the page on uh, Esinolario, on the Italian Wikipedia, not on the English one. 
uh, and it makes you jump uh, directly to the location of, uh, of uh, Esinolario. Uh, we are probably the first one to do something like that. Uh, it's not uh, already available on the, on the English uh, Wikipedia. Our goal is to bring uh, more uh, more details in, as part of the as part of the project, and we think that there are a lot of uh, things in common between uh, between both the two projects and uh, the fact that the vast majority of the contributors that we have in uh, OSM is um, contributing as well on, to the to the Wikimedia projects. Uh, I just want to go into three or four uh, different visualization. The project is, we, what we do is basically uh, amass a big database on, uh, of uh, geographical features. Those features then can, then can be represented, can, can be represented in a huge variety of ways, uh, giving importance to just some element of the, of the map and bringing to the, to the background something which is not important. Cartography is, ultimate, uh, is the, in, in the, ultimate, uh, the ultimate meaning of cartography is to bring uh, meaning to what you see on a map. So, for example, uh, this one uh, gives you an idea of the hill shading, of, the, of the how tall mountains are in this area, and as well, those, uh, those blue and purple lines that you see are uh, representative of uh, uh, official uh, routes that you can go by with your, uh, with your uh, bike or, with your, uh, with your, um, or by walking. So they are official routes by, by, the, local, uh, by the local Alpine uh, club. This one, for example, is the same, what, you, what you're currently seeing is the same database that you saw before, but uh, which gives you another representation, another rendering. And uh, by the way, WMF is working on, uh, uh, on uh, their own uh, representation of the OpenStreetMap data. What you see here is, uh, is a representation of the uh, transit uh, routes uh, in, um, in our area. Uh, trains are shown, uh, and uh, if, you, if we were to go uh, deeper into the map, zoom in to Milano, we would see uh, bus and tram and the subway system of uh, the city. As you can see, everything else has been fa like faded out because we are n uh, the cartographer that designed the map didn't like to show all of the details because he wanted to give more importance on the transport uh, system. These, for example, are a couple of other visualization for the, uh, that you might use if you don't want to uh, bring too much power to the map and just you want to uh, use it as a, as a background. This is a, what uh, this company calls a toner visualization and uh, this one is a watercolor visualization. Terrain is not available for, uh, for Europe. It's just available for, that you see here on the lower right corner. It's just available for, for, for the US. As you see here, and I'm, I'm about to finish, you will see that uh, there are already few things that uh, are starting to bring uh, together OSM and uh, Wikipedia. Uh, most of the um, municipalities, region, and uh, objects which are officially uh, part of a, any given uh, uh, Wikipedia uh, language uh, do have a link on uh, OSM, which allows you to go directly from the OSM object to the uh, Wikipedia page. We are in the process of adding as well a uh, Wikidata tag, which will uh, then add as well a link from uh, OSM to uh, Wikidata. Uh, this is an image from uh, Commons. And uh, this is a image from OSM where you can see the same uh, contour lines. Uh, something that we have, and we this one I wanted to show the fact that we can have uh, different uh, data as part of uh, OSM. This has been augmented by the open data made available by the U.S. government under the Aster project. This, uh, which I think is the last slide. 
is uh, a representation instead. As you can see on the, on the bottom of the page, you'll see a, the WMF provide a rendering of SM and on top a select, uh, a Sparkle select coming from query.wikidata.org, which actually extract uh, information from, uh, from, um, from, um, from Wikidata and uh, something similar which happens as part of smaller objects which are not uh, encyclopedic which is part of the our project which uh, squarely mimic uh, uh, wikidata and is able to extract not just uh, uh, objects which are of uh, encyclopedic value but is everything which has a physical location which uh, with this query you are able and uh, you, by doing this you would go to on overpassturbo.eu website you are able to extract everything which uh, uh, which is uh, a drinking fountain in, um, in Esinolario. As you can see, it's a qu quite, a simple, uh, quite a simple query language, and there are a, a lot of wizards which allow you to extract information. Um, yeah. uh, in order to get uh, to, the, um, uh, to, to link to what Andrea said, uh, I wanted to show you that uh, OSM is able to, to do routing, and since Andrea spoke about uh, this, the betrothed, the, this famous uh, novel by Alessandro Manzoni, where Renzo needed to go from, uh, from, a, from a town nearby here, uh, Pescarenico, to Milano, uh, I just wanted to, as a joke, I just wanted to show you how he could have done uh, his routing needs uh, using OpenStreetMap, and because we, uh, of as you might uh, like from a modern routing engine, uh, you, could, you can find on osm.org a way to do routing from uh, any given location on planet Earth to another one. Not just by, um, by going by car, as you might be accustomed uh, using Google Maps, but as well uh, by, by doing uh, uh, foot routing or bicycle and uh, the uh, possibilities are limitless because it, it just requires you to uh, use uh, the free and open source software which uh, is, uh, is behind this system and apply your own rules and uh, build your own routing engine which takes care of your peculiar needs. I think it's the last one. Yes, credits and uh, thank you very much. Uh, if if there is any question, I think we do. We still have uh, like five minutes. I think I heard you say that volunteers enter the uh, geographic data. Is that correct? And how do they do that, if that's correct? I s sorry, can you repeat? I believe you said that volunteers enter the geographic data, or does it come from someplace else? No. Um, what I. The way I see OSM is it's more like a clearing house. We, we are able to ingest a, a huge variety uh -huh. of data. Uh, most of the users start, I, when I started in 2004, I usually uh, added data by, by going uh, around with my handheld uh, GPS and uh, let's say doing uh, digital breadcrumbs for, and uh, producing a GPX file and then designing on a map, uh, on, a, on a software that uh, has been developed as part of the OSM initiatives, and designing those data in, uh, in, uh, in a software. Uh, as we grew, we found out, as we grew and as we needed more data, we found out that uh, data was available in the world and the open data initiative was starting out across the globe. So we developed software to uh, transform those open data into a uh, into our format, hmm. and uh, we are we are now able to basically ingest a different variety of uh, of data from uh, from shape files uh, to 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 GPX uh, to to different variety of data formats. 
So it's not a big project of mapping with the volunteers annotating, or it is? You, and is there a special software for uh, that? Or? No, we, we develop our own software. It's more, uh, what I was mentioning at the beginning, it's uh, we rely on uh, the OpenStreetMap website, but unlike Wikimedia, Wiki, Wikipedia, where you usually go, where you 100% of the time you go on wikipedia.org and you edit there, uh, on OSM you can edit on your own software, which is just linked to uh, the OSM website by the API. So you can you have a, you can go on if you want to do work uh, on a on a five minute project and you don't know what you want to work on you want to be presented by a random problem found by an automated uh, boat you would go let's say on Map Roulette which is a good system for uh, getting uh, uh, errors and you fix just that error so you, by that mean uh, you do annotation. And by annotation, I mean you add, uh, uh, you, we have a very extensive um, folksonomy, like a, a taxonomy, uh, where, you, where, you get, uh, where you get to, to, to differentiate between buildings, uh, uh, um, like uh, official f buildings for official use, your own house, a big villa, or a stadium. All of those are uh, curated by users, and you as a user, as a contributor, decide how to represent that data. And that's, that's something that makes uh, the project very similar to, to Wikipedia and sets it apart from uh, government-provided uh, uh, maps. Because there are parts of the world where uh, the map uh, the map that it's provided by the government is totally different from the ground truth that you see on the on the ground. Like there are uh, uh, places in uh, in uh, in Kenya where uh, the local government has uh, has not been uh, showing the uh, the truth about uh, uh, the about uh, suburban areas where uh, uh, there are uh, people living in uh, in sheds. Where, in fact, if you both if you look at the at an aerial image and if you look at the map on OpenStreetMap, you can definitely see that there are people living there and not the story being told by the by the by the local municipality. Yeah. Hi, I'm also an OpenStreetMap editor. Um, so, with regards to your question, there are apps for that. Um, for instance, on, on iPhone. Uh, there is a go map is available and I've input data uh, for instance when I was jogging and wanted to map the water fountains along my route I put it in an open street map via the the application um, a little plug here if you're from North America in exactly one month um, there is the uh, US conference for open street map that's called S state of the map US um, I'm giving it a plug because it's in the town I currently live in, Seattle. Um, and finally, I wanted to mention something, uh, well, two things. Uh, there is a humanitarian effort called the Humanitarian Open Street Map Team. Hot, you can find it by Hot OSM. Uh, and what that enables is, say there's third world countries that m there may be aerial image available, there's not good maps for. So if you have uh, a case of an, uh, an outbreak of a, uh, you know, a, a, a deadly disease. It's important to know where can helicopters land, where can you run drugs on a motorcycle up a footpath, um, and the, uh, HOT is, works towards that effort. And how do they do that? Well, the aerial image is actually provided free uh, by Microsoft Bing, you don't put that image into OpenStreetMap, but it's available for you to draw upon or trace. And it is a, it's a great effort. If you uh, can be a part of that, I really encourage it. Thank you for that hot, because that was just ex exactly what I wanted to say about. Uh, for. Uh, many Wiki users, uh, because I'm also involved in OpenStreetMap, 
uh, you usually try to find, uh, if you don't have a long time to write a big article on Wiki, sometimes you, you're trying to find what I can do in 20 minutes I have free. And uh, hot is a, something that has a very simple interface. You click on that, you get a part of the area, and for example, you're asked just mark the buildings, where they are. It, can, it has not to be very precise. So mark the places where people live or mark the roads. So this goes directly to the uh, emergency teams that are somewhere in Africa, Afghanistan, we've done last time, Nepal, uh, Afghanistan, I remember, and different kinds of stories, whatever it happens, uh, earthquake, uh, disease, whatever. So this is probably the only map that exists of this area and that really goes almost live to the teams that are trying to help the people. So you can spend your 20 minutes on a very simple clicking, like the, well, doing a game which is completely useless, but then you can have a game where you just click on that and this helps, saves people's lives. If I have, let's say, 30 seconds more, this is one of the other examples that you can use if you just have 30 seconds to help. This is the Map Roulette website that I was talking about. You just, uh, you just go here on maproulette.org and uh, you, f you will be presented by a problem and you click, uh, you try to do a school. You can see here the helping text exists at this location. It appears the school is not on OSM. Please add it. And uh, if you know the area or if you recognize the school by looking at the satellite uh, imagery, you can add that school to OSM. If you don't know it, you just uh, skip and you will be presented with a new problem. And uh, 10 seconds more, this is something we, we developed as part of uh, the Wikimedia Italia initiatives. And uh, these, the, uh, those dots that you see are articles uh, in the Italian Wikipedia which are still missing a link uh, to the given object on OSM. Either the object doesn't exist uh, or exist and it doesn't have a link back uh, to Wikipedia. If, you, if I would go, go, to be, uh, go here, let's say, um, it, it exists as a article, but it doesn't exist. Uh, it exists as object in, open, in OpenStreetMap, but it doesn't bear the uh, tag, uh, the key and value for, uh, for uh, Wikipedia on the OSM object. So this is as well something that would uh, take you no more than 15 seconds to, to fix and it's something which is going to benefit both projects. The last question. Um, uh, on Wikisource, um, I'm not quite sure how you hand, how Wikisource in the more, in the um, new, well, I say new, I knew it back, way back. <laughs> Um, I'm not quite sure how it handles errors in text, you know, typographical errors, a line missing in one that's in every other edition, and so on. And also, you know, things like word wrapping, where you have to divide a word in two. Could you just speak a little bit on that for yeah. a moment? Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, every co of course, every community decides its own, its own guidelines. But, for example, um, it, it sometimes depends by the century, okay? So, for example, if you have, uh, um, uh, let's say, 15th century book, which is, I mean, a book, uh, uh, we call it incunabulo, like a book that was in the early, early stage of, of printing, uh, you do not say, well, I know this, this word has been misspelled, but you, try, you have templates, basically, to show that, like, to show that, uh, okay, maybe this is a, a typo, like a literally a man put the wrong, <laughs> the wrong font on that, and so you, you just signal that, uh, but you show as it is. So, I mean, you have a category that says, okay, this has been maybe misplaced, but we leave it like it is. And so you have a convention of transcription, so the community decide what to do for every, every book. Uh, of course, the more the, 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 the book is modern, the more you are sure if uh, uh, the, 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 the thing that you seem, that it seems like an error is a new convention 
or it's just an error. If it's not just an error, you can just signal it, okay, this is an error, and, or you just correct it. Or, uh, uh, um, okay, or you put templates dedicated to that. For example, uh, I mean, as books were paper-based, they were page-based, so they have words broken in two pages. Like you, you finish the page, there is half of the, uh, half of the word that continues in the next page. We actually have templates. So, <laughs> so you, so you uh, signal, like you, you, you transcribe the words as you see in, in, the, in the page name space, in the editing interface, but you tell with a template, you tell uh, the software to transclude the whole word in the reading interface. So, and, and you put a no include in the rest of the word. So basically, you just use text and templates to solve these kind of issues between uh, paper-based and uh, uh, logic-based or chapter-based. Well, it, 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 if a page is duplicated, I mean, it, it really depends by, uh, by, 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 by the image. So it depends by, by the item that have been scanned. So uh, sometimes people just edit the scan. So, I mean, if you have a, if you have a, a book and, you, uh, and there was a major mistake, like a duplicate page, you just eliminate the image, you re-upload on commons, and then the software doesn't have a problem. I mean, you always have scanners and tweakings for these things. That, that's, that's really simple. One thing I didn't mention, but uh, I think it's really important, is that Wikisource really tries to integrate itself kind of well within his environment of Wikimedia project, but not only Wikimedia project. We, has, we have a very good relationship with the uh, Internet Archive. So, for example, we say to our partners, to libraries, to archives, please don't upload the stuff directly on Commons, but pre go to Internet Archive, upload all the stuff they will do digital preservation, they will uh, do the OCR, they will derive uh, fancy, uh, fancy formats like Deja Vu, which we use. And, and then from there, we have tools that you click a button, it uploads on Commons, then you upload on Wikisource, and then you have the whole package because the whole pipeline is, is kind of correct. So, I mean, you, you try to use uh, all the other pro all the other projects in a complementary way. Right now, for example, we are trying to integrate on Wikidata, and so put all our data there. So, I mean, meta me me bibliographical metadata they are good on Wikidata. There were questions, maybe down there. Okay, so it's finished. You, if you want to talk about Wikisource, you talk to me. Okay, bye. <laughs>